We are here today to talk a little bit about cedar apple rust. Actually, what we're going to be talking about is a whole group of diseases which are commonly called cedar apple rust, but in fact, at least in this part of the Midwest, mostly consist of cedar apple rust, cedar hawthorn rust, and cedar quince rust. Now, right now it's dry, and the cedar apple rust in this case, or the cedar hawthorn rust, which, which is what we're looking at right here, is dry. And therefore, the spores aren't actually being released that cause this disease. Now, in the next couple of hours, we're anticipating rain, and when the rain actually starts to fall, as little as a tenth of an inch, they go from this dry, crusty uh, structure that you see right here into this orange, gushy glory. The release of the teliospores is just one step. Those teliospores don't go and reinfect the juniper, and in fact, those teliospores don't go and infect the apple or the crab apple. What those teliospores do is they germinate, and they create another stage called a basidium. And the basidium then produces basidiospores, and it's only the basidiospores that can go and infect a member of the rose family. It could be a crab apple, it could be an apple, it could be a hawthorn, it could be a service berry, it could be a mountain ash. There's a list of over 70 different juniper rusts who have alternate hosts in the form of a member of the rose family. We could actually see some of the different uh, juniper rusts that would be the more correct term to call them. If we look closely on this branch, we can see what is most likely cedar quince rust, which creates these orange flat uh, lesions or galls in the smaller branches. This larger gall here is more likely caused by a cedar hawthorn rust, and this one is probably uh, three to four years old. Now this is a great setup for this disease right now because the crab apple is actually right within my line of sight about 50 feet away. So in a home planting, one of the things you would really want to avoid is planting a susceptible juniper like this one behind me here nearby a susceptible crab apple.